brainwashed into believing America is the best? I'm sure there will be a huge age range here. But I am 23, born in, 98. Lived in CA all my life. Just graduated college a while ago. After I graduated high school and was blessed enough to visit Europe for the first time. It was like I was seeing clearly and I realized just how conditioned I had become. I truly thought the US was the best and no other country could remotely compare. That realization led to a further revelation. I know next to nothing about any country except America. 12 plus years of history and I've learned nothing about other countries only a bit about them if they were involved in wars. But America was always painted as the hero and whoever was against us were portrayed as the evildoers. I've just been questioning everything I've been taught growing up. I feel like I've been brainwashed in a way if that makes sense? I just feel so disgusted that many history books are so biased. There's no other side to them, it's simply America's side or GTFO. Does anyone share similar feelings? This will definitely be a controversial thread, but I love hearing any and all sides so leave a comment. I was 18 when I moved abroad for the first time. It was eye-opening. Understanding that other countries have a completely different perspective, in which your own country might not even appear except as a footnote, is liberating. I had a very similar experience my first time out of the States. It's really a matter of perspective and who is telling the story and if they have an agenda with telling it. Media is brainwashing. Advertising is brainwashing. Politicians brainwash with speeches. Everything you consume is brainwashing. Think critically. Do your own research. Get info from credible peer-reviewed places. Ever look at what Times Magazine looks like from other countries versus America? Edit. This goes a whole, another level when we start thinking about current day algorithms how many people actually own the media giants in the US. The best thing anyone can do it to find credible sources travel. Talk to people from other places. Hey op, I'm European and I do notice this tendency amongst most Americans that I encounter. This realization must be scary, because suddenly your world gets so much bigger. Good on you for not being afraid of it and embracing it instead. Also, you are very young and have eons of time to learn about the rest of the world. Now that the lid is lifted off of the box. Have fun with finding out all about it, it's one of the most enjoyable parts of life. I'll give you the opposite perspective. I'm European and have been traveling the world for about a decade, finally landing in the US five years ago. These are my experiences. Every country learns primarily about their history, especially when that history is relatively brief. This is true for Italy, Honduras, Guatemala or the US. Wars or empires are the way you look into other countries, but even then, it's limited. And every country paints their history in a very hopeful and we weren't the bad guys and if we were it wasn't that bad kind of way. I've heard a lot of Americans complaining about not learning about slavery and Indian genocide to the fullest extent, but growing up in Italy, a lot of stuff about fascism and the post-war era terrorism phase was kinda glazed over. Not avoided per se, but not discussed at length. Every new country you go to will feel like the best. Heck, I thought Central America was the best in the world. And that was after I almost got shot twice and actually got robbed multiple times. You're not seeing an objective representation of the place. You're looking at a tourist's view. You're bonding with locals who are educated enough to speak the language. You're finally independent and carefree, and everything is new. Think about this. When someone comes to the US for the first time, they go to LA or Vegas or NYC or DC and think it's the whole country. They don't meet with rural Oklahomans or go to Appalachian small towns or the deep red areas of Texas. You agree that they'd have a very different experience if they did, and so would you if you after a few years in a new country. A transformative idea for me was this. No country or culture are better than another in an absolute sense, they're just different. All countries have propaganda, but the US has it just a little more. In my opinion, it developed because of two factors. Economic superiority in the US in the early 1900s and a developing identity in a country that was very heterogeneous and very very recent. Americans needed to be aggressively Americans because most Americans were still strongly bound to their country of origin, and forming a national culture and identity would have been hard that way. Whether the experiment worked or not is hard to say as Americans now are still very focused on race, ethnicity and roots, and I'm not sure whether a strong sense of Americanness is developing or eroding. 
In any case, if you're anything like me, and most people I met along my journey, you'll hate your country of origin and run away, then start to appreciate again after a few years. If you're restless now, this process is almost surely necessary, and I urge you to pursue it. Just remember that sooner or later you'll either want to come back, or redevelop some degree of appreciation for your country, so don't do anything permanent, like renouncing your citizenship, and don't discourage people from coming to the US by badmouthing the country. Your journey is away from here, but that won't be the same for everyone. Well, sure a lot of people have been indoctrinated. We start off saying the pledge every day in school, have to stand at ball games, and get all kinds of messages about patriotism in our movies and legends. I guess I was lucky. My grandfather and mom, as well as the Christian brothers that taught at my high school all encouraged me to question authority, and gave me the tools to do that. As you indicated, we might be told that the US is best, but we don't get to compare that to any kind of judgment matrix. There are approximately 193 nations in the world. Very few people have even visited them all, NVM actually living and working there for long enough to make an intelligent judgment. I'm glad you are starting to look deeper. I love being here in the US. I've visited a few other places, and they have some nice points too. I know that history was never as neat as Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492, or listen my children and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere a lot of our stuff is made up, or tweaked to fit a better poem, movie, story. I lived through 9-11 at the WTC. It wasn't much at all like the Nick Cage movie. But that's fine he is telling a story, not history. Unfortunately, most people learn more from entertainment than they do from good sources. If you have a couple of hours to kill, there is a great old western movie called The Man Who Shot Liberty Valence. A primary theme in that movie is that people rarely care about the facts, history. They want to know about the legends. They want the stories that make them feel good. Man. Wait until you visit Vietnam. Spoiler alert America was not the hero in that war. Side note Vietnam is a great country to visit not just for its war history. Amazing food. Bia Hoys are awesome. Some cool ancient temples and stuff. Lots of ancient sites were ruined during the war but there's a lot still, generally great scenery. Hard to ride pillion on a 125cc moped if you're a fat cunt like I am though. Most countries have the same thing going on. It's not just America. I've lived in about 10 different countries and very, very few of those countries' history classes teach anything about how we were the bad guys. I live in Turkey now and my students don't really study anything about history after roughly 1950. Asking intelligent people. I usually get the response that the government doesn't want people to know how their party made mistakes in the past. Germany is the big exception here I guess. I immediately thought the same. Thing is though, I'm German. I had like five years of school in which we were taught how evil Germany was in the past which I really appreciate. It's a good experience to have and definitely a powerful perspective to balance out what you were brought up with. Most countries to this to some extent though. America is not alone in raising their peeps to believe that they're lucky to have been born there. 